What? Jealous, Oberon? Fairies, skip hence. I have forsworn his bed and company. Tarry, rash wanton. Am not I thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. Why art thou here come from the farthest step of India? But that, forsooth, your secret love to Theseus must be wed, and you come to give their bed joy and prosperity. How canst thou thus for shame, Titania? Glance at my credit with Hippolyta, knowing I know thy love to Theseus. Ha ha, these are the forgeries of jealousy. And never since middle summer spring met we on hill, forest or dale, by paved fountain or by rushy brook, or in the beached margin of the sea to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brawls, thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the moon, the governess of floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And thorough this distemperature we see the seasons change. Hoary-headed frosts fall in the fresh lap of the crimson rose, and an old hind's thin and icy crown, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds, is as in mockery set. The spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter change their wonted liveries. And this mazed world by their increase now knoweth not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original. Do you amend it then? It lies in you. Why should Titania cross her over on? I do but beg a little changeling boy to be my head. <laughs> Set your heart at rest. The fairy land buys not the child of me. His mother was a votress of my order, and in the spiced Indian air by night, for long she gossip by my side, and sat for me on Neptune's yellow sand, marking the embarky traders on the flood. <laughs> and then we have laughed to see the sails conceive and grow big bellied in the wanton wind. And she with pretty and with swimming gait following, her womb then rich with my young squire, would imitate and sail upon the shores to fetch me trifles, then return again from a voyage rich with merchandise. She, being mortal of that boy, did die. And for her sake I do rear up her boy, and for her sake I will not part with him. How long within this wood intend you stay? Oh, perchance, till after Theseus' his wedding day. If you will patiently dance in our round and see our moonlight revels, go with us. If not, shun me, and I will spare thy horns. Give me that boy, and I will go with thee. <laughs> not for all thy fairy kingdom. Fairies, away. We shall try downright if I longer stay. Well, go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee for this injury. My gentle Puck, come hither. 